Brought to you by the famous talking cereal, Kellogg's Rice Krispies. Snap! <laughs> crackle! <laughs> pop! Today, Kellogg's Rice Krispies, the world's only talking cereal, brings you Wild Bill Hickok. Transcribed in Hollywood and starring Guy Madison as Wild Bill and Andy Devine as his pal Jingles. In just 30 seconds, you'll hear the exciting story, Two-Way Take. Cowpokes, you all know what snap, crackle, pop means. It means Kellogg's Rice Krispies are crisp. Well, know what? Now you can make crisp candy with Rice Krispies called Rice Krispie Treats. Squares of sweet candy made from smooth and creamy marshmallow and your favorite cereal, Kellogg's Rice Krispies. Mm -hmm. Really puts a gleam in your appetite, Wranglers. And it'll only take you or your mom six minutes to make Rice Krispie Treats. Try them. Get marshmallows and Kellogg's Rice Krispies real soon for Rice Krispie Treats. Winter was a rough time for lawmen like United States Marshal Wild Bill Hickok and his deputy Jingles. The business of chasing criminals was a hard job at best, but when winds howled across the prairie and snow blotted out the trails, the going got tough. Probably the worst of their adventures started in a blinding snowstorm and threw them against a smart pair of outlaws who were working on a two-way take. Bill, this is one blizzard we ain't likely to come out of alive. Stay with her, Jingles. If we can make it to Fort Charles, we can hold up there till the storm blows over. Yeah, that's likely to be sometime in March. Winter's just started. Besides, the snow's coming down so thick, I can't tell where we're going. I think we're still headed in the right direction. It beats me how you think you know. Sun's been blotted out for two days, and you couldn't see a landmark if you stumbled over it. Well, I can't be sure, but this time of the year, the wind usually comes from the north. Yeah, and that side of my face is frozen stiff. Yeah, just keep thinking about that big fireplace in Captain McCall's quarters at the fort, partner. Yeah, and that big pot of coffee the mess cook keeps steaming on the back of the stove. Steaks, bacon powder, biscuits, two inches thick. And oh, oh, Bill, I ain't never going to live to see it again. Jingles. Now, doggone it, I ain't in the mood to be getting shot at. Those shots weren't meant for us, partner. Bill, more. Come on, this way. Pick him up, Buckshot. Let's go, Joker. Don't lose me, Bill. Stay with me, partner. Didn't sound like those shots were very far away. Well, I wish it had come from the North Pole, then maybe we wouldn't have heard him. You reckon the soldiers have started a war we didn't know about? One rifle doesn't spell a war, partner. Hold it, Jingles. There's a horse. Yeah. Uh-oh. Man laying in the snow. Oh, Buckshot. Oh, Joker, who? What's bad? He ain't moving, none. No, and he's not going to, Jingle. Well, we're too late, huh? Yeah. Whoever was out to get him made sure of their job. Low down dry gulcher. Who do you reckon he is? Well, maybe he's got some identification on him. Now, you just wait, Joker. You ain't no colder than I am. Oop. Find anything, Bill? Yeah. Take a look at this. A badge. That's right. Special investigator from St. Louis. Sent out by the Army headquarters there. Uh-oh. Hey, here's something else. Letter? What's it say? To whom it may concern. If anything happens to the bear, please notify Captain McCall at Fort Charles without delay. This is of utmost importance to the government of the United States. Well, I reckon that cuts out a job for us. Sure does. Yeah, help me get him up across the saddle, partner. We got to get to Fort Charles in a hurry. <laughs> That's a story, Captain McCall. What's it all about? Come in my office, Bill. I can't trust anybody these days. You sound like you've got big troubles, Captain. We have, Jingles. Oh, sit down. All right. Bill, you were sure right about that big fireplace. Man, does that feel good. Hold it, Jingles. Let's hear what the captain has to say. Oh, sure. Sorry. I've just been freezing so long, I can't think of nothing else. Well, go on, Captain. Well, it's, it's hard to know where to start. Uh, then while you're thinking, do you reckon I might go and talk to your mess cook out of a little old steak, kind of to gnaw on a while? Jingles, this is serious. But, Bill, I'm hungry, and that's serious, too. Jingles, 
We haven't seen a steak at this fort for three months. What? Well, I thought you were buying beef from across the state line. We're trying to. We let the contracts, but nobody can get the herd through. Rustlers? Rustlers, enemies, or just plain outlaws. We don't know. My men are living on Indian corn and dried buffalo meat. They're gone to skeletons. Then that's why headquarters sent out a special agent, huh? Yes. But he met the same fate as the others. Now, what do you mean the others, Captain McCall? So far, headquarters has sent out four special agents. And they all wound up the same way. Dead on arrival. Hey, look out, Charlie. The air is plumb full of lead. Whoa, Slim. Whoa, now wait a minute, wait a minute. They're not shooting at us. That's young John and some of his buddies at Target shooting. Now, the winner gets a big bag full of, well, now, guess what? Oh, right, Smarty, what? Rice Krispie Treats, Slim. Oh. The new candy you make from Kellogg's Rice Krispies. I guess they didn't stop to think that they could all make Rice Krispie Treats. <laughs> They're so easy to make. Shucks, yes, and quick as a wink, too, Charlie. Takes but six minutes to make up a batch of those sweet squares of marshmallow and Kellogg's Rice Krispies. No fooling. Six minutes? Mm -hmm. Why, that's no time at all, Slim. Of course it ain't. Then you got yourself a big pan full of the most delicious candy feast that you ever put your taster to. That melted marshmallow blends those pops of rice into candy squares that prime your appetite for big eating. You'll see for yourselves. Now listen, Wranglers, you'll need marshmallows and rice krispies. And tell your mom to pick up some. You'll find the recipe right on the back of the Kellogg's Rice Krispies box. Marshal Wild Bill Hickok and Jingles had no idea what they were getting into when they rode into Fort Charles. But as they heard Captain McCall tell the story of his trouble, they began to realize what they were up against. How many herds have been rustled, Captain? Five, Bill. And four special investigators killed. That's right. Could it be Indians, Captain McCall? No, Jingles. Hmm. We know Indians and the signs they leave. These are outlaws and they're smart. I'll admit they've almost got me whipped. You uh, say almost like you've got one idea left, Captain. I have. In fact, I had one idea before you came. Now I've got two. You mean we can help you, huh? If you will. You can count on that, Captain. Good. But what's the other idea you had? Well, after the last raid on the beef cattle, I canceled all outstanding contracts and called in a man I've never wanted to deal with. A beef contractor? Yes. He's got a shady reputation, but he claims he can get a herd through to us. In fact, he claims he's the only man who can. The only man? That's what he says. Hmm. Right sure of himself, ain't he? Yes. He's been due here for two days. I guess the storm held him up. He's my last resort. With you to keep an eye on him, my hopes are climbing, Bill. I uh, see you don't trust him. Frankly, I don't. But my men are starving, and he... Oh, wait a minute. I'll see who that is. You sure are jumping, Captain. You would be, too, if you've been fighting this situation for three months. Yes? You, Captain McCall? That's right. Who are you? I'm the man you sent for. They call me Lowdown. Lowdown? You say that like you were proud of it. I am. Now, you want to talk about me, or you want to talk about cattle? Cattle. Come in. That's better. I didn't ride through a blizzard to pass it. Hey, these two buckskin-covered jaspers are Hickok and Jingles. Lawmen, what are they doing here? How come you know us, mister? I know everybody, Marshal. I make it my business. He uh, calls himself Lowdown, Bill. You ever seen him before? No, we ain't. And that's the way I like it. Let's get down to business, Captain. You're wasting my time. That's all right with me, Lowdown. Now, we've been having some... Trouble getting your cattle through. I know that. And I know why I'm here. All I want to talk about is price. And my price is $25 a head. Delivery guaranteed. $25? Well, that's double anybody else's price. And then some. Take it or leave it. I'll take it. That's highway robbery, Captain. I've got to have beef, Bill. And besides, Marshal, don't see it's your concern. Ain't your money, is it? All right, Captain, I'll be going. Hold on, Lowdown. We're riding the drive with you. No, you ain't, Hickok. That's my condition in the contract, Lowdown. Reckon you don't need cattle as bad as you say you do, Captain. What do you mean? No nosy law dogs are trailing with me. 
They'd be a lot of help against rustlers low down. When I need their help, I'll holler. Forget it, Captain McCall. Let him bring your beef in his way. Bill! Uh, you ain't backing down to this Gila monster, are you? Never mind, Jingles. Hmm. He guaranteed delivery. That's right, Hickok. So long, gents. Next time you see me, every man in this fort will have steak for supper. It'll be a week from Tuesday night. I'll be a pop-eyed mud turtle. Now, there's a sidewinder that's well-named. Low down is right. I just hope he brings those cattle in a week from Tuesday. He seemed right sure of himself. Delivery guaranteed. We'll wait and see. Right now, I want to take you and Jingles down to the corral and show you some of our prize horses. They've got some of the best mounts in the country. <laughs> Horses is right, Captain. You know, I never saw so much good horse flesh in one corral in my whole life. You said it, Jingle. Well, we're mighty proud of our mounts. Be glad to have you two take your pick if you care to ride any of them. Thanks, Captain, but I still wouldn't trade buckshot for the best ten you could haul out of that corral. No, or old joker either. <laughs> well, I won't argue with you there. You know, Bill, I've been thinking again. Yeah, Jingle? Why'd you change your mind so quick about riding with low down on a cattle drive? Thought better of it, Jingle. Oh, by the way, Captain, uh, will he bring those cattle over the same trail the others traveled? No other way to come, as far as I know, Bill. Oh, I see. Oh, one more question. Shoot. Have the rustlers always raided those herds at the same spot? Yes. Twelve miles from here on the flat near the mouth of White Oak Canyon. White Oak Canyon, huh? Now, where's that? Well, that's where we heard the shots and found that investigator this morning, partner. Oh, say, that's right. And the raid started after the snow fell. Yes. My troopers were out after a band of renegade Indians at the time. When we got back, there was nothing but flat snow. Not a track, not a sign. Oh, by the way, did you ask Low down where he was buying the cattle he's driving over to sell you? No. I didn't figure that was any of my business. Well, it might just turn out to be the law's business. Jingles, I think we'll meet Lowdown's Drive out on the flat by White Oak Canyon a week from Tuesday. Oh, oh, Bill Hickok, I knew you'd think of something. I can hear the lad singing around my ears already. <laughs> of the herd, Bill. Sure nice looking stock, ain't it? It sure is, Jingles. Mighty fat for range cattle. Yeah. Maybe somebody was feeding them for shipment. Maybe. How much longer are we going to hide out in these trees? Just until we see low down right up even with us. Oh, I get it now. You want to surprise him without gunplay, huh, Bill? That's the idea. You know, him and his cowhands just might take us for rustlers. Now, hold on. I hadn't thought of that. If they did, they'd throw lead like a hailstorm. <laughs> they just might have that. Bill, uh, now that we know the herd's on the way, couldn't we just sneak back through these trees and meet him at the fort? We could. Fine, then let's go. We'll but go. we're not going to. We're not, huh? No. Huh. I was afraid of that. Let's low down now. Come on. Ride fast so he'll see us before he starts shooting. Hi, right, watch out. Go on. Jump, Joker. This ain't no time to drag your feet. Hey, low down. He sees you. Hey, low down. Hold your fire. The fire was tall. What's the idea of the shooting? Maybe he didn't recognize us after all. I don't believe it. I ain't that hard to spot at this distance. He didn't hit us, partner. Now, let me do the talk. Who, watch out. Who are you? Oh, Joker, hold. Dump gun, you low down. What's the idea of trying to put holes in my hide? Oh, I thought you was rustless. Oh. Guess you feather-headed lawmen ain't heard that this is where them owl hoots pulled the raid on them other drives. Yeah, we heard. Then what are you doing out here thundering down on us like this? Well, thought we might join up to keep the rustlers off from here on in. Hickok, I told you once, I don't need no help from you and nobody else. I said I'd deliver those steers to the fort, and I'm the man to do it. Alone. Fact of the matter is, low down, you said you were the only man that could do it. That's right. Now, what about it? Mm, nothing right now. Well, since you don't need our help, I guess Jingles and I'll ride up and nose around White Oak Canyon. See you at the fort for sundown. White Oak Canyon? What are you looking to find up in there? Well, now, I'm not sure about what I'll find low down. I might locate a new trout stream for Jingles to fish in after the spring thaw. Yeah! <laughs> I sure do like to the fish. Then again, I might find something a lot more interesting. 
Go along, Lowdown. Come on, Jingles. Get up there, Buckshot. Get along, Joker. See you later, Lowdown. That's that hiccup. He knows something. Loach. Yeah, boss. Loach, come here. I got a job for you. What kind of a job, Lowdown? See them two buckskin-covered jaspers that just left here? Yeah. It's Wild Bill Hickok and his deputy, Jingles. What set them on our trail? Never mind that. They're headed up into White Oak Canyon. Now, that ain't good, I down. know that, you jughead. Follow them. Keep out of sight. Yeah. If they don't find nothing, don't bother them. But if they should get lucky and find their way into that tunnel, use that rifle you're packing and see they don't come out. <laughs> <laughs> there goes young John, the boss's son, into the ranch kitchen. You know, every night about this time, he makes his next day's supply of Rice Krispie treats, the Kellogg candy made from Rice Krispies. Hey, Slim, why don't you tell the listeners how they can make this new candy for themselves? Glad you gave me this chance, Charlie. I've been wanting to talk to our listeners about Rice Krispie treats seriously, because I tasted some that young John made the other day, and golly gee, what a treat that was. You can imagine what it's like, Wranglers. All the flavor of sweet, creamy, smooth marshmallow combined with tasty Kellogg's Rice Krispies. You let it cool, then cut out squares of this delicious candy and start in eating. It's one of those things you just can't stop eating. You eat until there isn't a Rice Krispie treat left. What a feast. And for all that feasting you've done, you know how long it took me to make Rice Krispie treats? Only six minutes. And you don't have to be a cook to make them either. It's real simple. You'll find the recipe on the back of the box of Kellogg's Rice Krispies. So if I were you, Wranglers, I'd get me some marshmallows and some Rice Krispies pronto, and then make yourself some Rice Krispie treats. Now remember, get Kellogg's Rice Krispies. While Bill and Jingles rode up into White Oak Canyon without knowing that the vicious lowdown had put the gunman sloat on their trail. Bill wasn't sure what he was looking for, and that made Jingles start asking his usual string of questions. Well, if you don't know what you're looking for, Bill, why'd you come up here in the first place? Part hunch, part facts, Jingles. Well, give me the facts first, huh? You already got them, partner. Five herds were rustled away from gents who were driving them to the fort to sell us beef for the soldiers. Yeah. Four special agents were killed because they came out to investigate the rustlers. Mm-hmm. So far, I got it. Everything happened right here at the mouth of this canyon. So you want to look over the whole canyon? Why? Well, for one thing, where'd the rustlers take all those cattle? I don't know. Where? I don't know either, unless... Hey, Jingles. Now, don't do that, Bill. One of these days you're going to holler at me like that and I'm going to jump right out of my skin. Look at that wall of the canyon to your right. See anything funny? Nothing but a cathedral rock and hold it. Hold it. If I ain't mistaken, there's a tunnel entrance just to the back of that great big rock. You're right. Come on. Hi, Buckshot. Jump, Joker. Bill took off again. You're right, Jingles. It is a tunnel. I can see it plain now. Yeah, but I don't see what that proves. It could prove a lot. Come on, we'll ride straight in. Bill, you don't know what's in there. We might be riding straight into playing a heart. There could be 40 gun slicks hit in here. Not so far. I can see daylight at the other end now. Then it's not far, is it? No. You know, something tells me we've discovered low-down secrets. No, I didn't know he had a secret. He sure did, and a big one, too. Watch yourself as we ride out in the open. This could be the spot for those 40 gun slicks. Now, know. don't talk like that, Bill. Jingles, pull up. Move, quick. Pull up, Buckshot. Move. Oh, Joker. Oh, now, now, what's up? Quiet. Keep Joker down. Stand still, Buckshot. Now, listen. Hey, you're right, Bill. Somebody's coming through that tunnel. Be ready to jump him. Hold it right there, mister. Bless your twist, you cock. Well, now, that's a poor way to get off to a new friendship, mister. Or ain't you friendly? I can answer that, Jingles. Low down, send him to shoot us in the back, which means that we're getting too close to the truth. Oh, what's that, Bill? That's the truth, Jingles. Huh? Now, Bill, you ain't making sense. Since when did a cow ball and spell out the truth to you? Look beyond that cow, and you'll see what I mean, partner. Beyond the cow, I... 
Holy jumping juni bugs, Bill. There's a whole herd of cattle in this hidden valley. That's right. Now, let's take our newfound friend back to the fort and tell Lowdown the bad news. Well, Captain Paul, you heard a cattle delivered right on the dot like they said they'd be. I guess you're a man of your word after all, Lowdown. What do you mean, after all? I promised you men steaks for supper tonight, and they'll have them if you'll get your butchers busy. Now, how about my money? Come out in the office. I'll get it for you. Been waiting in the safe for three months for somebody to deliver a herd. You was just too slow in coming to the right man, Captain. I could have done it all along. I didn't come to you as it was, Lowdown. If you remember, you contacted me. Don't make no difference. You got your beef, and I'm ready to take my money. Now, open up that safe and shell out. I'll get it. Hold it, Captain. Don't open that safe. What? Hey, what is this? Sloop, what happened? I'll tell you what happened, low down. Yeah, just before we lock you up for rustling and killing. You just dug your grave, Hickok. Bill, I'll get him. Let him in, Jingles. Captain, call the guard. Right away, Bill. Hold still, you varmint, uh, for I break your arm. Are you? Oh, get some men in here to take a prisoner to the guardhouse. He'll be here, Bill. But I don't understand all this. Lowdown delivered his beef cattle according to the contract. Not his cattle, Captain. Those are the steers you were supposed to get three months ago. He's a rustler who stole them. He is. He sure is, and the killer who murdered those four special agents to boot. His name don't speak for him halfway. He's lower and low down. Blasted tin badge toters. He just got lucky, that's all. How'd you get wise to him, Bill? You uh, gave me the key, Captain. Well, how? When? Well, when you told me that Lowdown said he was the only man that could get a herd through to the fort. I don't get you. If he was the only man, then it meant he was a rustler blocking all the others. But nobody was blocking his drive. And he was holding all them cattle in the hidden valley up there off White Oak Canyon, just waiting for you to get hungry enough to do business with him. <laughs> he was playing both ends against the middle and wound up in the middle himself. <laughs> And now, here are the stars of Wild Bill Hickok, Guy Madison and Andy Devine. Have a nice weekend, everyone, and we'll be back with you again on Monday. And our stories about one of the wildest elections ever held in the Old West. Naturally, Wild Bill and Jingles are right in the middle of it. We call it Mighty Dangerous Laughter. So long, kid. See you Monday. You know, whether you're young or old, it's nice to have things that are all your own, isn't it? Well, now, you can even have a package of cereal that's all your own, thanks to Kellogg's Variety Pack. Here are ten personal portions of your favorite cereals. You can choose the one you want, open the box, and there it is, waiting for your spoon. Just ask Mom to get a package of Kellogg's Variety Pack the next time she goes to the grocer. Kellogg, the greatest name in cereals, has brought you another exciting story of Wild Bill Hickok, starring Guy Madison and Andy Devine in person. Today's cast included Barney Phillips and Tyler McVeigh. Our director was Paul Pierce, story by Larry Hayes, music by Dick O'Ron. This is a David Heyer production transcribed in Hollywood. Now, this is Charlie Lyon speaking for Kellogg, the greatest name in cereals. Reminding you to listen again on Monday, same time, same station, for another adventure of Wild Bill Hickok! <laughs>